Hello, my lovely gold members! Today we are going to make this abstract acrylic textured painting with plastic wrap. Here are the art supplies we need. I leave links to the art supplies in the video description below. We are going to begin our painting by creating a texture that we will paint later on. Now I am applying modeling paste with a kitchen spatula. The perfect paste layer thickness is between 1 14th and 1 10th of an inch, which is about 2-3 mm. But do not make it flat, let it be thicker somewhere, preferably in the central part and at the focal point. I covered two-thirds of the canvas with modeling paste. Put the plastic wrap on the canvas. I am pushing it around to get a lot of wrinkles. Today I am using a 28 by 28 inches, which is about 70 by 70 centimeters pre-primed stretched canvas. Carefully remove the wrap. Let the texture dry completely, preferably overnight. Mist the canvas with a spray bottle. I am using just tap water, nothing more. Mist the brush with a spray bottle. The brush should be barely wet. I am using a flat nylon brush to apply the paint. I am mixing white and black paints and applying them to the canvas. I am stretching out the paint for creating a gradient where colors blend smoothly into one another. And trick number two is using the spray bottle with water. But don't add too much water, otherwise your colors will become faded after drying. The reason I'm adding a little bit of water is that I'm reducing the viscosity of this paint, making it flow a little bit better or make it a little bit more fluid in other words. This will also help you to create a smooth color gradient. I am applying orange with a nylon brush to the center of the painting. I am applying red. I am applying magenta to the bottom left corner and then apply magenta to the opposite corner to balance the color composition. Now I am stretching out the paint. I grabbed white and I applied it between grey and magenta to merge them. I'm applying white between magenta and red and blending them together. Now, one thing you will want to stay away from when painting is putting too much paint on the canvas if you are trying to apply an even coat. If you put on too much paint in your canvas, you are going to have streaky brush strokes, lumps of impasto, etc. I am going to stretch out this paint. I'm applying brown and blending it with magenta and red using spray bottle. 
as acrylic dries very fast, so you should work also very fast. As you can see, I do not change the brush and do not clean it. I am applying black to the center of the canvas. I am applying black to the upper right corner of the canvas with the same brush with some black residue. I grabbed brown and I am applying it to the bottom left corner to balance the composition. I grabbed white with a hex synthetic brush and I start blending colors using the spray bottle. This is a magic brush for making perfect color transitions. And one trick to doing that is that you can change the direction of your brush work from time to time. Stretch it out in one direction, stretch it out in the other direction. I'm applying white with a new nylon brush. Now you can take a break and wash your brushes. I am emphasizing the texture with the nylon brush and applying orange. I'm applying gold with a smaller nylon brush, keeping it almost parallel to the canvas. But I don't like the brush marks, so it's best to apply it with a spatula or a large palette knife. I'm applying grey with a clean small nylon brush to the bottom right corner to reduce the amount of red on the painting. I am blending grey paint with a clean hag brush. If you liked this video, then you will definitely be interested in my tutorial on how to blend acrylic paint like a pro and 10 simple hacks to improve your art fast. You will find a lot of useful info there and it will also help you to create today's painting. I'm emphasizing the texture with a nylon brush, applying lighter orange, it's more yellow than the previous one. I put on masking tape on the canvas to sign the artwork to make the signature straight and horizontal. This is for those who have trouble with parallel lines. I am making the signature with an acrylic pen. It's also called outliner. Remove the masking tape. The painting suits dark grey textured walls. 
an interior with beige textiles and a warm orange red shade of dark brown furniture. Yielded decorative elements would emphasize the artwork. You can see that the red color in the interior, even in small quantities, leaves you feeling overwhelmed and affects you too aggressively. Contrary to the rule of using an accent color in the interior that matches the color of the painting. White walls work well for most paintings. Fluffy dry flowers in beige or black are also a perfect match for the art piece. Thanks for watching this video up to the very end. Bye!